Next into your calculator, we need to get the logic to check the 95% portion of the 68, 95, 99, 7 rule. But to do that, all we have to do is compare the observations in list 1 and see how many of them are within two standard deviations of the mean. So the only difference in the logic, rather than just subtracting one standard deviation and adding one standard deviation to the mean, we're going to subtract two standard deviations or add two of them to the mean. Same thing then, we'll have to display the same sum. So this is again going to store a sequence of ones and zeros into list two. So the sum of that list then divided by n will give me my percentage that we would want to compare to 95%. So this is the logic we need to get into the calculator next. Let's do that. So we need to once again start with list one. greater than or equal to, second, math button, greater than or equal to is option number four. Let's open the parentheses. I need the mean plus two, rather the mean minus two standard deviations. So variables, statistics, mean is option number two, minus two standard deviations. So now I have to put in two and then the standard deviation, variables, option number five, standard deviation is three, close the parentheses. To get my and operator in there, I need second, math, right arrow, option number one. Now I need list one again, second, list one, less than or equal to, second math, less than or equal to is option number six. Open my parentheses. The mean is variables, option number five, option number two, plus two standard deviations, so two under variables, again statistics, option number five, the standard deviation is number three. Close my parentheses. Once again, I need to store that into list two. So down here between the one and the four, here's the store button. Store, list two, second, two. Press enter. And now I need to display my new percentage. So under program, right arrow, Display is option number three. So I need to take the sum of list two. Second, stat button, the right arrow twice. Sum is option number five. List two is second, two. Close my parentheses. I need to divide by n division symbol, variables, under statistics, option number five. I will choose option number one. And that ends that line of the program. Press enter. So the last thing that you need to do then, your job then is to write in two more lines into the program to check for the 99.7% portion of the rule. So it's going to look very much like this line of the program, except your twos are of course going to be replaced with threes. You still need to display the sum. So, and then after that, something to think about. Once you are done writing the program, you don't have to worry about saving. Once you are done writing the program, it is automatically saved. So you can press second quit and go back to the home screen. Don't worry about that error there. That was from previously when I was practicing. So to get back to your program, if you press the program button, if you want to edit that program, you can press the right arrow to select edit and press enter and it'll take you right back to where you started. You can press the down arrow to right where you need to be and you can continue at the bottom of the handout tells you how to check your program. Good luck.